So this was another blog post I had recently that a lot of people liked. And basically, um, what we're doing here is we have a list of names from three different years of people that volunteered in a, like a beach cleanup event. So these are the people from 2012. Here's the people that volunteered in 2013 and the people that volunteered in 2014, right? And what we want to do is compare those three lists to see who volunteered each year and kind of get a report that shows who volunteered each year. Maybe we want to see who volunteered in 2013 but didn't show up in 2014, that kind of thing. Right. You know, and so typically you might do some lookup formulas to then try and figure this out, you know, do a lookup from 2013 back to 2012. And then, you know, when, with two lists, it's not too difficult. When you get three or more lists, then it becomes kind of cumbersome with doing all these lookup formulas or maybe a count if would be a formula you could use to kind of to do a comparison. Um, but there's another way you can do this with a pivot table that's much faster and easier, and also a lot more flexible. Um, so, And I have a blog post and a video that kind of goes through all of this, uh, but basically um, what you do is you just take the data from all three years and compile it into one long list. So what I did was I took the data from 2012, like these names from 2012, and then I'll copy them and I pasted them into this long list here, right? Yes. And those are our 2012 names. And then you just uh, tag each row with the year that that person volunteered in. So here I just typed in 2012 for all those years. Um, and I didn't actually type in for all years, you know, copy and paste down. But uh, so basically what you're doing is stacking the data there for each of the years. So here's my 2013 data here. I just labeled those rows 2013 and 2014. So you get a one big long list of all your data. And then you can create a pivot table um, based on that list. So here's the pivot table that's um, that's basically from all that, that long list. So I'll just recreate it just so you can see how it works. So, and we really only have, in our data set, we just have two columns, the name and the year. So basically all you need to do is first drag the name into the rows area of the pivot table. And that'll give you a list of all the names of each person, and if there's if they volunteered more than one year, it's going to consolidate those, right? Because it's a pivot. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you take the year column. I'm sorry, the year field. Put it in the columns area, so that'll put the years across the top up here. So we have our three years, and then just take the name field and throw it into the values area, and that'll create a count of the names. So now we have, we can see, for example, this person volunteered mm -hmm. in 2012 and 2014. And you, the grand total just calculates how many years that person volunteered. So it kind of gives them a ranking there too. You know, if we had uh, hot sauce in our uh, conditional formatting, which would be cool, um, you could just give them two, two hot sauces right there. Uh, oh, um, the, no. well, I'd like to, like to jump in if I could, John. Uh, for, yeah. for some reason, on, on our side, we're not able to to see that. Again, it's just a Google Hangouts thing, and, uh, and uh, you know, and here, here's the thing: if it was hot sauces, damn Skippy it would work, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Oz. So, uh, I, um, what we can do though is, if you wouldn't mind, what, oh, you can't. What can you see? What do uh, you... We, we see the names, and we see you dragging and dropping over the items. However, we don't see the results. Oh, right. you don't see the pivot table? Nope. No, no, no. no. I, I saw the field list come up, but that was it. it so it, yeah, there's a Google Hangouts problem. Yeah, just a Google Hangouts problem. So we'll just move on past this, and okay. what we can do is kind of after this, maybe even make a synopsis of this, maybe in a in a short video or something. We'll figure out something, to, some way to be able to share this tip afterwards. Yeah, yeah. because you know, I tell you, this, this is the, oh, see, there was a glimpse of the pivot table. Now it's coming up, huh? Yeah. It, oh. Now it shows up. <laughs> now it shows we're, up. We're, we're practicing doing that spinning wheel before the show, and it wasn't spinning on air for some reason, and then. You know, we did something and it suddenly started working. So I don't know why these images don't come up through Google Hangouts or do so haphazardly. But yeah. Know. So there, yeah. Now. So we do see oh, the now pictures see now. Okay. 
Okay, and cool. The, uh, so Colton Chase, yeah. 2012 and 2013. Yeah, exactly. So Col yeah, Colton, he only volunteered in 2012 and 2013. Yeah. And, you know, so that's, it's a quick way, and this is like a kind of the foundation of this method. Uh, it's very, kind of a very simple explanation of what you can use this method for. I mean, you can, like I use it to do reconciliations between data sets. Uh, yep. If you have, you know, any kind of ledger information uh, or even sales information and you want to, see, like um, CRM data, for example, if you have some some data for your sales reps, mm -hmm. you want to compare last week's pipeline, let's say, to this week's pipeline uh, and see what changed, what moved uh, yeah. between your customers, your deals, whatever you got. This is a, a very fast way to do that yes. um, without having to do a bunch of formulas because we can do use any formulas in this. It's just basically stacking the data on top of each other and then creating a pivot. Yep. All yeah. right. Cool. Okay. So I'm giving that five srirachas because Ooh. that is another very good use of pivot tables. Thank you. Yep. yep. Comparing lists. Um, in that way, it's not just necessarily analysis, but also doing some, uh, you know, diagnostics of, you know, what are you dealing with?